I think we have all been in the position where we come home after a long day and just want to kick back and have a fun game of Mavs. So we hop into a regs game and we see our opponent has picked the Titans. Or we hop into Mutt and we see our opponent's top three and he has a powered up Derrick Henry with Bruiser and Reach for it on him for abilities. Okay, so now we're starting to get a little nervous. We're like, okay, what is this guy going to do? But we think, okay, no, it's fine. He's just going to sprinkle in the run. It's going to be a fun game. Then he gets the ball on offense and runs it down our throat relentlessly for four straight quarters. Okay, well, we can all agree that is the f***ing worst. So I want to make sure that never happens to you again in Madden 22. Y'all will never do that again. This is going to be my ultimate run defense, and it really can apply on current or next gen. I'm going to show you guys the formation and play call I use to lock up the run. And then before we get into that, I'm going to bring you guys three tips that you guys can use in any formation, any scheme, any defense to really help you in our infinite quest to be able to stop the run. Today, we're going to be continuing my multiple defensive scheme out of the New England Patriots playbook, and we are going to be in the formation even 6-1, and we are going to pick the play cover four quarters. Now, if you guys want to see everything I've released in this scheme, this is probably my favorite, most complete defense I have ever put out. I will leave a link in the description. You should definitely check that out after this video. Now, the reason why this 6-1 is so effective is because it gives us a very heavy personnel that is really going to stuff the those inside runs then we have six players on the line of scrimmage that are really gonna suck up all the blockers and allow our second level defenders to flow to the football and this is gonna leave our second level defenders free and able to fly to the football and this defense is so effective because even if they come out in a really heavy running set and they decide to pass the ball this cover four quarters is a super good lockdown pass defense that is gonna give these people a ton of trouble now I have a ton more out for this scheme and I actually just released a new video today out of this even 6-1 using this cover four quarters and turning it into a really nasty blitz when you're going up against these heavy eye form sets. Now I also have a ton more on my membership page to really help you guys just take this defense to the next level. So if you guys are interested in checking any of that out, click the join button down below. Okay, let's go over these three tips that you guys can use in any scheme. Then I will show you gameplay of me using this 6-1 even quarters coverage in game and just show you how deadly this defense can be. Okay, so we're in our even 6-1 and we're gonna come out in our cover four quarters. This is gonna be our go-to run D. Now, our opponent here is coming out in strong close, but it doesn't really matter. What I'm gonna show you guys first is first run D tip, and you can really apply this to any scheme, any defense you are running, is checking our run fits. Now, what is this, guys? This, you can actually hold down the trigger. It's L2 on PlayStation and then press circle and square. What this is going to do is if you look on the screen, this is going to show you those red lines mean what gaps everyone on your defense is playing. So right here, because we're in cover four quarters, this is one of the reasons why cover four is one of, if not the best run D is because we actually have nine players in run fit. So every player with a red line like that means they are going to react to the run and fill the gap that they are pointed to. So if we look on the outside there, guys, our two corners are not in run fits. Everyone else is. So if we hold down the L2 and circle, that is gonna show our run fits to the right. Now you'll notice F and C above two players on our defense. So what that means is if it's a run to the right, that player with the F over his head is gonna stand for force. That means he's gonna be our force defender and he is gonna force the run back inside. That is super important. That is one of the keys to run D, knowing who your force player is, making sure they can actually get out to the outside and stop those outside runs. A huge portion of run D, not letting a run get to the edge. We wanna take that force player and force the run back inside. Then we see the C on the backside player, that is gonna be our cutback player. So he's gonna kind of slow play it. If the running back decides to cut back the other way, it is his responsibility to, you know, take that away. So that's a run to the right. Now we look a run to the left, it's actually the opposite. So now the force player is the other defensive end, up in this case, it's a linebacker, but it's the other outside linebacker. And then our cutback player is the other one, okay. So that's cover four quarters. What if we call something else? So let's look at Tampa two. So now we can't see the force is actually covered, but our force defender on the right side is that corner on the outside. And we look, so now our corners are in run fits, 
but our safeties are not. So that is gonna be a huge difference, guys. Now the corner's gonna react, come down, fill in the run fast, but now our safeties are gonna sit back and not react quickly to the run. So this six one even, guys, let's go back to our quarters, is so good because if, if we look at our run fits, it is a really easy job for our players to really, you know, hold up in the run game. There's not any wild run fits where people are having to loop around, come from a different direction. And this is really gonna make it very tough for our opponent to block our four down linemen, plus our two outside defenders and get to the second level. Okay, I wanna just audible, we'll audible to a four three odd cover three. So now look at the run fits for this guys. Now we have our force player is gonna be the high safety and our cutback player is gonna be the outside linebacker again. But now in a cover three, look at our back safety and both of our outside corners are not in run fits. And if we look at the, uh, the run the other way, now the force defender is going to be the outside linebacker and the contain is going to be that backside safety. Now look at the force defender here, guys. Notice how his his gap is actually inside to the B gap. If you guys are ever having problems with your run D, you're in a defense, go into practice mode and just really look at the gaps these players are firing at. So now if we have a run to the outside, our force defender, you know, his responsibility is the B gap, even though he has to force the run back inside. Then whenever we are running this quarters defense, I always use the safeties. I will leave a link in the description for my full cover four quarters breakdown. I show you exactly how this whole coverage works. It can be a little intimidating if you've never used it before, but watch my videos. I do a super in-depth breakdown. I'm gonna help you guys learn how to run it. If you guys have any questions, leave it in the comment section as well. But I'm always gonna use her one of these backside safeties. And when I'm playing run defense, if they're in I form like this, I want to use her the safeties who, who's on the solo side. So I'm going to use her this player. We're going to keep in mind our run fit. So if it's a run to the left, we have that just outside of the left tackle gap. But really, we're going to flow to the football. So we have one run dialed in. I just want to show you guys. It's going to be a stretch right. We're going to come downhill and we're going to fill. We have everybody flowing to the football and it's going to make it really tough for our opponent to gain yards. Let's do it one more time right here. Fill in right there, stuffed in the backfield, one to two yard gain. So we see everybody is gonna be firing down, flowing to the football. But I wanna go look at this backside, or this front side safety who's not the user. So let's look at this player, guys, and this is really gonna key in with our next tip. So right here, to watch that backside safety, guys, keep an eye on him. See how he just kind of stops and he is not gonna fully commit to the run until the handoff is actually going through. So now watch, watch that safety. When the handoff is complete, now he is gonna fire down and he is gonna come down, but he's gonna wait until that, you know, handoff actually goes through. So our second tip guys, is actually how we can get players to not take that read step and fire down right away. Now this is not something you wanna call all the time, but if you know they're running the ball, if they just will not stop running the ball, what we can do is we can actually put this safety right here. We can put him in a QB spy. Now, when we see the run happening, guys, as soon as we see that run, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click the right stick in. That is gonna send that QB spy down and he's not gonna do that gather step. He's gonna fire down on the run right away. Right here, guys, I gotta do it with two controllers, but watch that safety. When they snap the ball, we're gonna click that stick in. Okay, we had really good penetration, but I wanna go look at Jamal Adams here. So once again, watch Jamal Adams there, guys, and right at the snap, I click the right in stick in. Notice that safety does not wait. He fires down right away. We have really good penetration from the D-line, but look at the safety. He fires down. As the, line, the running back hits the line of scrimmage, he's at safety depth, and he is at the same spot as our linebacker. I wanna show you guys that one more time. So watch this safety. QB spy, just like that. We gotta, I gotta have two controllers so it makes it a little tough, but watch that safety. And we click the stick in and he fires right down, comes makes the tackle, you know, for a one yard gain. He's not gonna take that read step. He is gonna fire down right away. So once again, that is tip number two, but no, do not run that all the time because now he's out of his pass coverage assignment. So this is only if you're playing someone who tries to run the ball every single play, they will not stop. 
now we can put some players and spies click the right stick in and they will fire to the football okay then our last tips i really love if people are trying to run toss over and over if they're really getting the edge and running toss now we are going to use this tip and i really like it you guys can mess around with it if you can get it to work against you know dives stretches but it's especially gonna be for those outside runs like a toss. So now we're gonna look at that wide side corner, guys. We're gonna run a toss to the outside. Just keep an eye on this player and see how he reacts. I'm just gonna come on a D lineman here. So what he's gonna do is because he's in a pass set, he's gonna take two or three steps back. Then he's gonna come down to the football. Let's go look at the replay. Okay, so watch that outside corner on the wide side. Watch him, he's in a pass set. So he's gonna take two or three steps back then once he sees the run as soon as the running back actually catches the toss now he's going to come down come to the outside try to get in the backfield there they get about six yards so what we can actually do guys is we can take that outside corner and we can man him up on the outside wide receiver so what we're going to do we're going to double tap triangle man coverage and we're going to assign him to that outside corner now look at him he's in man coverage on that player now watch the run and watch how this corner reacts keep an eye on that corner we run and he fires down in the backfield right away let's go look at the replay for that okay now watch that corner on the outside guys so the last one he took two or three steps back now watch him boom right on the snap he is firing down to the football now once again we get good penetration this run d is really good but even if the running back gets outside of our force player there, now he is already taking on the fullback at the line of scrimmage as opposed to seven yards back. Okay, then our last kind of thing we can do with this if we really want to get really crazy and just get in the backfield in a hurry. We man this player up. Now we can actually press our corners. So now what is going to happen? He's not going to be starting at seven yards back when he starts to fire into the football. He's going to be one, yards off, one yard off the line of scrimmage now let's you know this player we can shift over shift over and right here now we run the toss to the outside watch this corner guys he fires in the backfield takes the fullback on let's look at the replay one more time watch that outside corner guys he fires in the backfield now he's taking on vita vea their fullback three four yards in the backfield so that is really guys gonna help you absolutely destroy those outside runs especially tosses mess around with it in practice mode see how that works let me know in the comment section okay hey guys so those are three really good tips that i think is really gonna help you guys take that run d to the next level no matter what scheme you are in but if you think i missed anything if you guys have any other kind of like pro tips really good tips on run d leave them down in the comment section as well Okay, now we're gonna get into gameplay and I'm gonna show you how good of a run D this can be and the really good pass D on the back end. All right, guys, so here it is, our 6-1 even quarters defense. Now, I really love to call this when they're in a heavy set, I form, triple tight end, double tight. Then we're gonna go to this play. So we see I form here, guys, and the only adjustment I ever really make is I'll manually put these outside linebackers who are in quarter flats into hard flats. If you go check out my cover four quarters video, guys, show you exactly why I prefer hard flats over quarter flats, but put those players in, in hard flats and then we are good to go. Then like I said, we're always gonna use her, the safety, if it's an I form, the solo safety. That is who I wanna use her. We're just gonna have a lot more freedom there. Once again, I break that down in my quarters videos, but here we go. We see I form guys, and this is just such a good run D. So we see tight end right so obviously we're gonna you know in our head think it's probably going to the right it doesn't have to but good chance for sure so yeah we see stretch right look at our three players here this is one of the keys with this defense three players here meeting these three blockers so now our backside three second level defenders are going to be untouched firing down to the football and the great thing with this guys look at our non-user safety absolutely firing downhill so this is an outside stretch but this player fires into the backfield he's at about the line of scrimmage here forcing Marshawn Lynch to cut it back inside right to our middle linebacker and our backside user flowing to the football and we just meet Marshawn in the hole and we're able to tackle him for maybe a gain of one okay here it is again guys now we have double tight right single tight left so once again heavy set this player had been trying to run the football we are going to call our 6-1 even quarters now here if it's ever a balanced set usually I will use her the wide side safety once again I go over that in the quarter 
Porter's video. Make sure you guys check that out. So here it is. Oh, right here we switched to this safety, but it doesn't really matter if it's a balanced set. So right here, we're just going to read here. And now we see, okay, outside zone kind of to the right side three blockers once again, but they really don't have anybody able to get to the second level. So that is just really going to let our flow get to the football. So here as the user, I'm going to attack this outside shoulder of the running back. I want to force him back inside to my help if I miss the tackle. But right here, we come up lay a great hit and that's a gain of zero once again. I form heavy set double tight this time. Only one receiver bring out our run D. And look at this, we have six guys on the line of scrimmage. They have a ton of blockers, but we have a bunch of beef up the middle. We're gonna make it so tough to run the ball on this defense. Here we are using this solo side safety right here, stretch right. Once again, look at this. Just these guys are sucking up blocks, double team there. And now we have these three players just flow into the football. I'm using this backside safety. I just get through all the noise and I'm able to tackle them in the backfield. And here's one more guys. And I really wanted to show outside runs here because this defense is gonna absolutely destroy, you know, dives up the middle. But really where we're gonna get beat is those stretches, those outside runs. So I wanted to show you how good this is at taking those away. So once again, stretch to the right now as the user, I'm getting super aggressive. I see a hole right here. I'm firing through the hole. We have a leather low safety linebacker getting out there, forcing him back inside. And now he cuts back inside to his help, to our help. And now I wanna show you guys how good of a pass defense this can be. So even if they come out in this, you know, heavy sets, I can call this defense and be super confident in our ability to stop the pass. So heavy set, I form, we have a straight drop back here, guys. Here's my responsibility. This player, he cuts in. Look at this, guys, there is nobody open. We have still have a four man rush and there is just nothing open down the field. He maybe could have thrown this in late, but by the time that comes open, we get him in the backfield for a sack. Other than that, there is nothing. Okay, here it is again, super heavy set. Play action fake. So I'm gonna get aggressive coming downhill, but then we're gonna get back out and help. Look at this. We're underneath this, taken away. Single coverage here. Now he's running a little wheel out the backside and we still have our deep blue defender over here. So even though he rolls away, our deep blue defender is sitting on this wheel. He tries to throw it up and we knock it out. Okay, you can also call this if they're, you know, in shotgun, but they're trying to run the ball on you a ton. You can still call this play. It's still gonna have a nice pass defense if they decide to pass it. Right here, we have a tight set here. We're kind of shadowing this player. He starts to go shallow. That is my responsibility in quarters, but he's going shallow to our help. So we're really just gonna come off of that and we're just looking to help on anything open. Then we send players at him and I just get an absolutely gorgeous diving user pick. So you're gonna see that a ton in quarters. Once you really get it down, you're gonna have a lot of freedom to really roam if your player stays shallow to really just help if anything else gets open. So this is an amazing run D with a super solid pass D behind it. But if you wanna learn exactly how cover four quarters works and why I think it is the best pass defense in Madden 22, you need to watch this video right here.